wearing a Crocs business really worth it? I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like that is a please leave your negative thoughts and opinions to yourself. I'll be reading your comments and everything. If you don't like the way I talk, the way I do this, the way I do the video, do not watch my videos and I mean it in the humblest way possible. I might make this video two parts. So if this video get 50 likes, I'm gonna drop the second video. And if it don't, I'm gonna still drop it. So well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spend what you wanna be who you wanna be. We have stutter to I Just because something works for me, it doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Same thing with just because something works for you, it don't mean that it's going to work for me. So, whatever I say in this video, it is what works best for me and my business. I'm saying it because someone said something. I might show it. No. But I'm gonna first do the Take question. I'm gonna get straight to this video. I'm gonna hope you guys like, comment, share, and, and subscribe to my channel. Question. Um, they said wet and glue. Um, I got a video on first the best and what I use. So I'm gonna just put the proper right here. But the glue that I use is. The Gem Tag Jurian Amelia E6 thousand. Those are probably my main three glues, but those are what works best for me and my business. And I say that because the one comment they were like, "This works a better with this and it," and I was like, you know, thanks for the comment. Different things work for different people. And that's just my thought and opinion. And I'm not a fashion no one said they don't listen. She or he don't watch my videos. They just probably just follow me on their social media. But yeah, because those are the three of them that I use. How do you prevent your rhinestones for falling off a day? You want to say it? Your shoe down really, really good. I use a nail driller, but so I just say that works the best with it. And that is what I use. To make my rhinestones stuff stick to the shoes. Crocs, when they first come, they already be slippery and stuff. So you do want to sand the shoe down really, really good. Or rather, that's with a nail drill or sanding sponge or sanding a paper. You can get your sanding sponge and the paper from Walmart, a depot, like a hardware store, I guess. You can try a Lowe's and stuff. And yeah. My nail driller, I got this one right here. And you do want to tell your customers, you do not want to play in your custom Crocs and stuff. I don't know why people like to play in them or run in them, but y'all, if it's gems on the shoe, you do not want to run or play in shoes like these. So as far as the walking in them, yes, you can walk in them and if you, you know, have to run it up, but as far as a plan in them, it's a no for me. She said, What's a good price to charge when you're a beginner at the design? Y'all, y'all don't even need the prices that I was charging when I was first started, charging $70, no, $75 or $70, shoot included. You have a box of these. 
you know Crocs are like $50 now. $50, $49, sometimes a $30. But if you had to buy the Crocs plus the rhinestones, the gym, the glue, and this and that, they just a oh, oh, piles up and uh, piles up. See that you don't receive no profit. So I do not recommend starting off with $70. Starting price, I would probably say $100. I don't feel like it's reasonable. But you can do $70, but you will probably not have enough to buy supplies and stuff, and stuff or rhinestones and stuff. So I would either probably say $90 to $100. But, because my price is now like, 130, 140, 150, 160, 160. So, yeah. And that's just because the time, um, the rhinestones, the gems, like, like this stuff right here is not a cheap. Like, a charm, the rhinestones. Um, I got the, the rhinestones in like a bundle. So, like, stuff like this is not cheap. So, you gotta put a charger the worst. And that's just in our neck. So, yeah. I hope I answered the question. Do you think having art skills will play the role in this business? Art skills? No. Because y'all took art class in high school. I, I think that was what you mean by art. But yeah, I took art class in high school. I suck at art. I suck at drawing. I just suck at art. At painting. Everything. I would definitely say. Oh, I'm back. I uh, heard something and I had to go see what that was, but this is something that I made in my art class. As you can tell, I suck at art. <laughs> I freaking suck at art. So to that question, I don't think you need art skills for this. I just let I just let my mind and the man above just show me the way. And that's really a uh, two way. How to be a, a client's hell. I would say promote, 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 promote your business. I know sometimes I elect it because I be a busy and sometimes I just lose a doubt and stuff to myself. So that sometimes you can promote, promote, promote and you still won't have no a customer. So that goes to praying over a business and just praying but yeah second thing that i would say to that question is i do recommend doing a pop-up shop promote your business 24 7 on facebook instagram tiktok tiktok is a huge platform between the tiktok and instagram i don't know which one is a bigger but between those two they are the most used you promote and is having a crop of business really worth it. Um, I just search how do I promote? I promote on all socials. I've been in the second part is is having a crop. Having a crop of business really worth it. Like that question you need to chill. Like, is it worth it? Do you think it's worth it? Let me uh, know what you say. Honestly, I do say it's worth it. You get a notice a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like that is a yes and a no because sometimes you don't receive a customer. Sometimes you do. Them. Some days you can have a ten order. Some days you can have a zero. One day you can have feet. Next day, um, you can just have one order. And make sure that you, you know, have some money for yourself as well. I feel like that you make the money from the first, but money for yourself so it took me like probably five or four months to like receive the money money for myself but far as money for the shoes and stuff that was probably the first i mean the first time that i you know started accepting orders and stuff so i would say probably four or five months in the business but this is in my opinion when i first started i was just doing 70 dollars shoe included but when i went to college i went up to like 110 120 
1.30. How to get more people to order. I have so many views on my Instagram and views on my site, but when it comes to buying or promoting yourself or promoting your uh, business show your face uh, more because uh, people will be thinking we are scams and stuff so show your face uh, more so just uh, practice more in between the time like someone see you they be like oh i want to shop maybe sales sales brings people i would it do well i know i would Sales brings people in, but don't just be shooting out sales here, 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 because you settling. Don't settle. Don't don't have people uh, making you feel like you have to uh, lower your uh, price for them to uh, purchase something for you. But sales, you know, like here and there, are probably twice a, a month or three times a month. That's not a bad. If you just have sales every day, just because you want to receive people, they're gonna be used to that. And they're gonna be thinking, oh, well, her oh, prices was this and this, and now they just sky or rocket. So I don't I do not do sales like that, but I do sales. I really hope that this video helped you guys. And if it did, please leave a comment. Or please leave your negative thoughts and opinions to yourself. I'm not a negative a person, so if you have some a negative to say, don't even watch the video. Don't even watch me. I'm just being real. Leave me comments and everything. If you don't like the way I talk, the way I do this, the way I do the video, do not watch my videos. And I mean, in a humbleness way possible. Y'all like my glasses. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just scared. But yeah, I'm gonna make a part two to the next video. So I hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. You give this video to 50 likes. 50 likes and I will be uh, dropping them part two into the next video. And a part see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching my channel. Too sexy for your game.